Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the Rogue Trader blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. And so far it has been a mixed bag. We have survived uh, Euro 5, uh, we've then liberated uh, Rikus Minoris and lastly we've been <clears throat> at Ricardi Filia, the prison planet. Uh, why does it say point of interest? Yeah, I think we've already cleared that. Hmm. Okay, let's just double check the rumors real quick. Unidentified warp ship. And Lord Inquisitor Xavier Xales is a powerful and mysterious figure who plays a pivotal role. His power is so great. It extends even that of the rogue trader. Yeah, that is true. Anyways, we're going to Rikid Majoris. And that is what we're going to do today. Let's see. Let's begin our scan. Uh, Augurs notice a large object amongst the lifeless rock covering the planet. A void ship whose signature and origin impossible to identify from orbit, resting on the edge of a deep ravine. The hull of the unidentified vessel is severely damaged. Rocks around it shattered by the force of the uh, gigantic machine's crash landing. The Augurs have detected, uh, haven't detected any vital signs on board near the vessel. Let's use Xenolore. The landing party reports via Vox as soon as uh, they touch down. The colossal void ship before them is covered with spikes. It resembles a morbid beast sculpted from darkness itself, menacingly hanging over the ravine. An experienced veteran accurately determines the origin of the unholy vessel. It belongs to the Xenos race called Drukhari. Ooh. Ready to collapse at any moment, the void ship emits a long, woeful creak, as if promising to drag along into the abyss below anyone who dare to disturb its slumber. Uh, slumber. Okay, Abelard suggests finding out the Xenos were doing in the Rykard system. Anxious, uh, Idera tells the Lord Captain that the voice in her head are screaming darkness and death. Argenta eagerly says the only good Xenos is a dead one. Yep, that is fitting for her. The rogue trader orders uh, that more people be sent to the Xenos void ship to collect any valuable findings. And being the god emperor's chosen, the rogue trader won't um, won't go digging in Xeno trash. No, 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 no. Let's find out what they were doing here. After two uh, watches of hard labor, the workers managed to stabilize the Drukhari wardship. Soldiers who entered the vessel were mere lifeless bodies of Xenos who had uh, died in the void ship crash. The void ship itself, um, following the abdominal nature, came to life, immediately carving uh, to uh, save the wicked appetite for human death. The vessel's system have reach, uh, has have reacted to their intruders, and senselessly cruel, deadly traps have been activated on all decks. Um, monstrous. Uh, contraptions designed to mince, rip apart and incinerate the victims took the soldiers by surprise but were neutralized before the squad suffered significant losses. The soldiers found several curious pieces of Xenotech in the void ship that could be used in one way or the other. Okay, we got a sun uh, assortment of Drukhari barbed needles and then we have Drukhari shatter shard and then we have a v uh, venom blade. Hmm... One-handed weapon, which is actually quite good. 12 to 18. Then we have a blast pistol. Uh, that looks good as well. We got a couple of grenades and we got a lot of experience. So much so that we got a level up. I'm just wondering. Uh, Drukhari. 
you need Drukari weapon proficiency. Yeah, okay, well. No one here is a Drukari, so uh, that's not going to happen. And you need the same for the sword as well. Okay, yeah. Well, that's one way to lock loot behind behind proficiencies. Hmm, this here is going to deal damage and rending damage. Okay, well that seems n nice, but these are good grenades. Might keep them for an end boss or something. And whilst we're at it, the guy with the grenades takes them. Funnily enough, <laughs> Heinrichs is anti-Xenos. So, yeah, let's just not tell him that the grenade is a Xenos grenade. Let me level up the characters and then we we see what else we're going to do. All right, we leveled everybody up. Let's uh, give me the highlights real quick. <coughs> so, uh, with Abelard, uh, we went. Oh come on, we went uh, all the way to stronger uh, together, um, allowing uh, everybody to receive the toughness bonus. Because I still think that stronger together is great. We have it three times and everybody now has five on all of the physical attributes. On top of it, he improved athletics. We got um, our good friend Pascal here, who I got instant exposure just to improve his action economy and a zero AP ability can never by definition be bad. It is very good. We also increased the ballistic skill. Might as well go for perception in the near future. The biggest change comes with Argenta. I wasn't happy with her build. My main concern was that she wasn't really hitting a lot of uh, things and there were small um, topics that were piling up. For instance, I wasn't really focusing enough on attention. Um, and then I underestimated just how the bur uh, rate of fire is important for her bolters in order to make them work so really what we did with her let me just shortly run you uh, through that is we got rapid reload because oftentimes i find myself out of ammunition and if rapid reload only costs one ap she's the only one who really oftentimes needs to um, reload then um, I got muscle velocity, which um, basically increases the first shot of the burst based on the rate of fire. Combine that with rapid fire so that we have like a very high rate of fire. On top of uh, that, um, we got stronger together uh, still. Um, I got enough bullets for everyone, which basically lets um, her shoot with 15% more damage after she finishes her burst so that she can use her single shot in a meaningful way. Um, uh, the fire uh, arm mastery gives her even more rate of fire, which is good. Um, I further more inc uh, gave her demolition engineer, which is an interesting talent that I haven't fully appreciated. So apparently intelligence allows you to get AOE extra damage for, um, uh, for area attacks. And Demolition Engineer, on the other hand, um, will now deal ranged area attacks for all uh, range. Uh, here in Intelligence it says, uh, for the bonus of Intelligence uh, with non-burst ranged attacks. Um, but I'm pretty sure that this year, at least the way it's written, applies to burst attacks. So we're, I hope we're going to see a little bit more damage. If for nothing else, um, she... Uh, could get a gren grenadier later and then we're just going to use grenades as well um, and then I got her uh, the litany of the hatred because I think that's not bad uh, all allies receive um, damage bonus for single shots and attacks of opportunity so that's another damage and I think it's a free action it doesn't cost you anything and then uh, finally I got her medium armor second skin so that increases her survivability and solid projectile weapon uh, um, focus so her bolters gain more minimum 
uh, damage which I think is super super helpful so everything else as you can see uh, goes into ballistic skill uh, I did put up perception here and here and a little bit of agility but my point is the following I think she needs to first of all hit very well before she becomes a good character and at the moment I felt that she wasn't hitting that well I hope that with rapid fire and with uh, concentrated fire we can actually deal some really decent damage with her bursts uh, then Cassia as an officer I took Guide of Souls, which I found interesting because um, it allows any target that receives a single target ability buff from her to gain three additional movement. And since I noticed that movement becomes very, very important, uh, this will even make us a little bit faster. And uh, for our good friend Heinrichs, uh, we have stabilizing factor because I want less warp problems and some of his abilities are a little bit yep iffy and uh, he can now use med kits. Finally for uh, our uh, own character Saiken, he has bigger AoE and I took aftershock in anticipation that I would like to go into blasting. I'll take the pyromancer uh, specialization soon and then I hope that we can actually use the staff and just generally blasting in order to use him as the blaster because he seems to create the least amount of um, of uh, veil and that's really it that was the level up in a nutshell let's look at the Coronos system so we got Uruk 5, got that. We got uh, Rika's Menorahs, we got the Thunderfang, we got uh, Rik, uh, Rikada Fila, uh, Filia, the uh, planet. And I'm just looking at our quests. The only thing that we don't have is, I think we have literally everything. The only thing that we don't have is deal with unfinished business before the triumph and since we have all of uh, the business finished it's time to triumph now it's interesting how close we can fly to the sun without it being a problem By the way, I think this order here somehow is misleading. If anybody is also melee character, it's it Heinrich. You two are sort of when the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Are sort of midfield characters, <coughs> and these are backline characters. I noticed, by the way, that. Uh, Do you require an audience? Cassia is super, super, super uh, strong with her ability. Let's seize the opportunity. To basically scale off only from her intelligence. Okay, so I think we've gotten everything from uh, the tech priest. Yeah, okay, got that. Which now means we're ready. I'm ready for the triumph. Excellent, we'll see each other at the square then. May the light of the throne be with you. Fly to the upper way. Okay, well, that we can do. Alright, time to celebrate. We freed the system from its problems and its heresy. So I'm quite happy how that turned out. Also, our team is interesting. I like them. Uh, we do have the slight issue that we have almost too many characters for what uh, for what I would like to do. The world will bow. Master of Ceremonies, your lordship. Peerless Lord Van Valencius, I Master of Ceremo uh, Ceremonies, Ricard Minoris, uh, of Ricard Minoris. Everything is in place for your triumph. Allow me to give you a brief summary of the upcoming event. 
You will take the road, now familiar to you from here to the starport. You will be accompanied by your comrade in arms and a guard of honor. The body of heretic known as uh, the Prophet Aurora will be pulled in your wake as a battle trophy. A stop is planned in the middle of the road. Their grateful citizen will rush towards you, praising you with their salvation. Not to worry, this is thoroughly um, choreographed. The group of grateful people will be composed exclusively of loyal citizens vetted by us. Once you have uh, said the praise, uh, the um, procession will move on. Governor Medini will await you at the starport. You will be handed uh, a flamer blessed by the representative of the Ecclesari. And uh, you chose to personally perform the burning, but you wish to uh, underscore the amicable alliance between House Valencis and House Winterscale. It's fitting to pass the honor to the governor. An excellent plan. Let's go. Powers unseen, uncover my path. Oh, look at that. Mount the tank, yep. Make way, make way, let us greet the hero. A festively dressed people rushes towards you. Glory for the Valencius dynasty. Glory to Psyche, the hero of Ricus Minoris. The grateful citizens present their gifts to the Redeemer. Greet the people. May the light of the eternal terror shine on us all. Okay. Blue, gold and dark. Uh, I'm sensing something boundless. Heinrich says what? Oh, ho um, Aurora says behold, behold, behold the final dawn. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Do we have that big fat tank at our disposal? I would like to use it. It would be so cool. That's one thing that um, Wastelands 3 did super well. From time to time in very limited circumstances you had the Kodiak and the Kodiak was a beast. It was a really, really good uh, feeling to run over enemies in that tank-like massive car. telling me we saw a supernova there we would all be dead it's not even close hmm your existence is not but ashes your emperor won't save you all right well <clears throat> here's the deal we're surrounded from all sides. Don't like it. The question is, where can I fire off a couple of good volleys? I 
I think down here Argenta. Um, melee, 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 melee. Um, yeah, let's engage over here with Arbaland. Pascal moves here. Heinrich pretty much into the middle. Oh wow, we have more melee characters from there. Didn't see that. We are indeed pretty much surrounded. I don't like it. Good, moving to here so that we can clear this out. Uh, in which case, Abelard... You start over here so that we can move to the north. And listen, Cassia and Argenta are going to be a team here, okay? She is just going to open her eyelids and we're just going to F up that entire site. Let's start the battle. Okay, time for Argenta to showcase how good her new build is. There is a melee character. That looks serviceable. Veil degradation starts at 12. I don't like that. All right, we're going with. Um, As the Emperor commands, I act. Furious uh, resettle. Concentrated fire. Faith without deeds is worthless. Into our new rapid fire. And I'd like to see a couple of hits, all right? Here we go. All right, my rebuilding mechanism has worked just fine. I think I need, still need <clears throat> to find a way of uh, getting run and gun uh, going. But that was a very, very strong burst. That looks good. I like I'm that not idea. Accustomed to being ordered around. Cool. These guys are debuffed. I like it. <clears throat> then. I think for if now. We're just going to give her an extra turn. I can see something. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. All right, here we go. Uh, we do have run I'll gun afterwards. Good, run and gun. Uh, that would still make me vulnerable against this guy, but it would put me in a nice uh, cover position. I like the idea of just flaming these guys to death. I think this is what we're going to do. A 
As the Emperor commands, I act. Nice little reload, and we good. Okay. I am your the new soldier build uh, works much, much better than what I had before. All right. Well. Let's charge Victory in. Oh, <laughs> Abelard, my dude. Oh, that was good. Indeed. None can crush the evil. Just a well, they are driving the Veil Degregation, so what am I supposed to do against that? Pascal shoots. This guy is effectively dead because of the poison. I like that extra little damage there. Uh, if we were to use a gas grenade, uh, that would hit, but hmm. How about our... How about we're shooting both of you guys with a plasma and just blast you? That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Uh, then all we need to do is get you marked. Fabulous. Lovely. Good. We're immediately... We're immediately marking everyone. And... Is everybody now marked? Marked, marked, marked. I think everybody inside. Uh, that was not too bad. And... Request approved. Pascal is not going to move anywhere, so we might as well take perfect shot here. Break them around. All right. Um, listen. Unfortunately, our AOE attack isn't spilling over far enough. That's really unfortunate. And I don't like that Firestar the Cultist, but I don't like any of the other Cultists either. I will triumph for the satisfying demise. Good, we're moving to here. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. Okay, and we're moving right into cover. Cut a second, finished off two. One step closer. And mind controls, another one. Before going for full cover. Good job. Weather the storm. Listen, Heinrich, we were all doing so super well before this became an absolute shit show.
Everyone, step aside. Let's see to it. Good word of the Emperor. I won't we're going to shield uh, the Emperor and we're going to no. rush into melee combat. There we go. That is the pilot, the female pilot. Nice. Good hit. That, on the other hand, Pi um, Rachel isn't doing super well. Okay, we need to get into a decent position here. Rejoice in battle. All right. Get this guy down. She hits much better now. I like what I'm seeing. The enemies of the Emperor Moves to here. And can we hit both of you guys in one burst? I think the answer, unfortunately, is no. But what we can do... ...is burn you to a crisp. There you go. Fantastic. Just need to think about the second weapon that we do have I available. Refuse. Emperor, give me strength. Cassie moves up. I think it's a good priority to kill one of uh, these guys. Isn't this a job for the serfs? As duty demands. I said a little is there before. Then putting her buff onto Argenta because why not? More hit points, more revel and light. She also gets movement points from it. I bring nice. Okay, cool. Um, four starters. Um, we are not in a good position. Move into here. That's a great hit. I like it. I will do like you. At your back and call. Very good. Endurance, and we're we'll continuing with that. Victory is One. Oh, nice. Attack. 
two. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Three. <laughs> uh, and we're moving up. I want to get to the root cause. Uh, the leader of the cultists. Very good. Abelard is just not taking no for an answer. Okay, well, maybe he is. He's now pushed down. I don't like that. Haskell moves up. Scouts out all four of these guys before plasma overcharging into a nice little flash sandwich. And what's Reddit? Do this and that, which means the guy is super easy to hit, and Pascal has used his AP effectively. Saiken takes a better position. what I'm talking about. Revelin Slaughter, yet another extra shot. Ruin beckons. Not quite a kill, but we did very well. Overall, this very well. So as always, clear one side of the battlefield, and then you sort of are okay with the other side. Um, Heinrich needs to be a bit careful. Is this here fatigued, stunned? It's not going to reduce his. Is it bur burning? Bleeding, staggered, blinded, fatigued. Mm, not quite. But of course, Lord King. Word of the Emperor. We're doing that. I think Heinrich's Let's just going to buff himself with Iron Arm. Get me a target. And he's continuing to go to town. He's actually doing very well hasn't taken that much damage and we just need to be careful with him chaos because his defense isn't that great Such is the will of chaos. Heinrich does what he Heinrichs does what he does best. Fuck people up. Um, and that would be a great uh, hit overall. It's a question, do we want that? Do we want to go a little bit closer? Uh, we can always give her another Guided action. Faith without deeds is worthless. This is unacceptable. Alright, let's go, baby. 
couple of good hits, couple of not so good ones, but still, uh, she's doing very well for herself. Step aside. The navigator is coming. So we need to get this cultist here in a better spot. Uh, in the meantime, Argenta God moves, moves back me. to here. It's this guy, and overall, she is hitting much, 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 much better. Plus her reloading problems have been solved. Very happy with the rebuild. Okay, of course. Vengeance will be swift. I serve the ruinous powers. Okay, too good to not use this grenade. Running by Eric override. Because that's a three for one. And mark the spawn. Reduce the damage of the spawn. Open the spawn for attacks. Get the cultists out of their cover. Whispers, guide my hand. I reject the very idea. All right, we're just gonna go for the chaos spawn. Nice little crit. I will not stoop to this. I won't waste my time on that. Well, that's still okay. This is Dealt 40, 50 ish damage on the spawn. Killed one and mind controlled another one. For the throne's glory. Alright, everybody gets the shield of the Emperor. We're getting Endure here. And did we get Despair? Yeah, okay, that is not a problem. I was just thinking if this Violet uh, something uh, does anything to us. Okay, Rachel has a death wish. I can't help her then. Nice, another chaos spawn. Fantastic. Just what we needed. I'll do it. Right, eight bullets. What does this here do? Next ranged attack made by the soldier. Let's go. Doubt is for the weak. Mm hmm Okay. We got a winner right there, Could ladies and gentlemen. That looks like something that is ultra good.
All right, get both of these guys with a little list here. Fantastic. Then you, dear Heinrich, will get a little bit of a buff. Isn't this a job for the serfs? A little bit more of a buff, to be honest. I serve the ruinous powers! It will be done. I will do my duty. Ah, so close. We're hitting well, very well. And these chaos spawns are slowly but surely going down. Unfortunately, our uh, pilot Rachel is also going down. that chaos spawn and we're looking at uh, this plus a little bit more of uh, that That indeed was very satisfying. And short of this one guy back there, everybody else is I need no guidance. currently taken. Um, hmm. I wonder if I should use concentrated fire more often. It just says ranged attack. We're going to find out against uh, this guy. Anyways, Heinrich. Um, Naturally. Word of the Emperor. More of that. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Moves to here. But of course, Lord Captain. And yours. And. Gives Abelard another bonus to damage. Focus, Van Calks. Focus. All right, we're definitely focusing. That's good. I like it. Um, He's a bit in the way, that is unfortunate, but chances of hitting him are low. I'll do it. So let's try this again. Good hits, I like it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Is not the Emperor's will. Okay. It, she's hitting way better than before. I have absolutely no complaints. Alright, Saiken gets a buff. Saiken gets another buff. And Saiken Me? takes a turn. If you insist, Lord Captain. So, this time I would like to take Concentrated Fire, that's 9 to 12, if we Concentrated Fire it. We're looking at still 9 to 12. 
I will triumph. Accept my offering. That was a good critical hit. I reject the very idea. Ruin beckons. Death to non believers! My place is at the fort. Good. Swears him as an enemy. And then begins to charge in. Oh no, Perry. I don't like that. It will be done. And another dodge. Well that is unfortunate. Good. Let's hit both of you with a plasma gun. Fabulous. Good shit. And you know what? Everybody here gets a weapon buff and he gets a, another operator debuff. I like it. Pascal is doing very, very, very well for himself there. I will triumph. Rend the flesh. Shatter the spirit. I need no guidance. Good. Unfortunately, we can't run gun. But thanks to him being exposed, you can see that even the normal forces are having no problem hitting the spawn. Let's see to it. I won't object to it. Let's see to it. Heinrich buffs every single one of you. Very nice. Yeah, the spawns become less of a problem, but they still have a lot of hit points, so... I suppose there are a bit of a problem Seek still. Deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Nice. All right, we're just in the will of the Doubt is for the weak. Going with more attacks. She is a force to be reckoned with. Holy. I refuse. Hmm. Okay, well we're too far out of range. Um. Indeed. It will be done. Good. Pascal moves over here. Scouts this guy and then reloads. And then... AOE damages. Cool. This is the X Master. Please send immediately center. What is going on? Captain, reference, repeat. Another worldly cacophony, uh, which until now resembles the rumbling of a distance cannon, suddenly swallows you with its full intensity. The warp energy seemingly bursting out of thin air, rushing inside your exposed mind like an unstoppable wave of filth. For a moment it feels like your head might explode, but then the sensation retreats, leaving its wake a different one, that of someone, uh, someone's touch on your temples. Simple solution to stabilizing your condition, keep it together. Do not give in for the force trying to take hold of you. 
Nargenta is like, I shall fear no darkness, for the light is with me, the light of my faith in thee. I shall flee before no enemy. All right, everybody is reacting to it. Heinrich says we must uh, move uh, towards the starport as one. All right. So if we go to the starport. We're not abandoning people in distress. Everybody can come. And that's good. Let's move. Plenty of loot. Embrace true power. More plenty of loot. My faith shields me. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay, the warp clouds actually deal damage. Interesting. Of course, it can't be just a ceremony. It is a huge bloodbath of a ceremony. Can't be kind of a triumphant march. It needs to be an absolute shootout. Do you think you had one enemy mine? You vanquish Twilight, you cut down Aurora, but she's only one of us. Do you hear me? From the depth of the dead stone, from his prison of cold metal, he will rise. The hour is nigh. I heard many cultists say shit like that, but it never materialized. Intriguing. Okay, so our way will not be as simple as we were hoping it would be, in which case this is the end of today's episode. The next time we're going to fight our way through demon infested territory in order to get things right. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I truly appreciate your viewership if you like rogue traders. Don't be a rogue um, and backstab me, but be a, a bro and leave a like and a comment down in the section below. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.